Hey, I want to give you some quick feedback on the logos that you submitted. Um, I'll start with this one for Sharisa. Uh, Sharisa, you've done some really nice uh, pen tool and illustrator work. These look like nice illustrations, but they don't look like logos. I uh, think they need to be simplified and like a cohesive, unified message. Really think of this as an icon rather than as a graphic story picture. You know, it needs to be it needs to be simple and clean and clear. Um, I'm not sure what Triceratops is either, which you know is neither here nor there. Um, but I would think that your logo would communicate something about the personality of the organization, or or maybe what the organization does. Um, and it can be somewhat abstract. You know, yours are all are fairly concrete. Um, but not very unified, especially the second one down. Uh, it doesn't feel, I guess because of this Sarah way down here, I don't know. Um, the, this one has a thin black stroke. You want to avoid that and make sure that, that your logo works without that. Anyway, keep working on it. You're, you're, you're heading in a good direction and it's getting there. Um, this is Tori's um, Charming Chandeliers, it looks like. Nice job communicating the idea of a chandelier and using typography to do that. Uh, these don't feel quite finished either. They don't, uh, I'm not sure how to, what to tell you about that. I, I like the black and white one the best, I think. Uh, make sure that whatever you do for your logo, that, that it works in black and white. Actually, these are all three pretty much the same, except these two have, are using color in a different way. Um, you might look at some different typography and, and think about, oh, I guess this one does use a sans serif font. You know, really do think about the, the font that you use. Chandeliers seem very um, elegant and um, classic kind of to me. So you might look at some script fonts or some modern fonts and see what you get. Uh, this one is Shara's. Uh, Shara, you've got a big challenge and that's mainly just because I've seen so many photography logos for, for my class. Um, and these, this is typically the, the things that people try. I've, I've seen all of these same kind of ideas before. Um, so think about how you're going to make your photography business unique uh, from all the rest. I, I really do like this one, I, even though I have seen it before. Um, so think about that. You might change your organization or you can stick with this and try and think of a way to make this more unique. Uh, so this is Vivian's, um, <clears throat> and I think you must have misunderstood Vivian. You're supposed to have one organization and come up with three different logos for that same organization. Um, RAP Funeral Company is probably uh, not, I don't know how to say it, not appropriate, <laughs> uh, um, because RIP is kind of a, I don't know, a casual way to talk about death and if it's a funeral home you probably wouldn't you know put that in a star it doesn't really communicate funeral company very appropriately um, this smiley face is frowning so again it's a health insurance company but it's kind of sad um, so really think about your audience and your message I, I, I don't I don't think that either one of these are, are really getting there um, Anderson and Veronica Realtor Company, maybe, you know, maybe this is this is probably the most logoish and the most um, thoughtful, I guess, the most communicative of your message and your audience. Although, I'd still need to push on this. Everything's so little, and and especially yellow. Yellow and white don't contrast. You want to make sure there's plenty of black, and that your logo works in black and white. <clears throat> This is Doug's, and he did the same thing. It looks like came up with three different organizations. Uh, be sure that you're brainstorming one organization. This, this draft was really meant to help you come up with lots of ideas uh, and brainstorm lots of ideas for one organization. <clears throat> so keep pushing on that. These, none of these feel like, quite like logos. They feel a little bit more like clip art 
than logos. Um, so far, out of all the ones I've looked at, these look the most logo-ish. Uh, they use typography plus you know graphic elements in simple ways. Like this is great. It's so clean and clear, and just a little bit of that little bit of color adds some really nice contrast. Uh, I like the fact that Clark communication, you know, the C's are repeated in these waves. Um, same thing here, Clark communication. That's that's great. Uh, this A feels unnatural, but I, I can see why you did that. Uh, make sure that this works in black and white. So you might have to do something different with a gray in here. <clears throat> and if you do use color, be sure that you keep it really simple. Could this just be two colors instead of three, for example? Let's see, gray, blue, orange, yeah. See if you can do this with just two colors. And one, you know, or one color and black, kind of like you did up here. Can you make this work if you only have one color plus black? Um, I think these two are the strongest. This one is kind of cool too uh, because it has the two C's. Um, it's just not as clear as these two are. Really nice job. These, these look logo-ish. <clears throat> these are on the right road to logo-ish, but they, <clears throat> that they still need some pushing. This one's Coles. Um, rock equipment, coal drums, and foster trumpets. So same thing, Cole, be sure that you do some brainstorming around one of these companies. Be sure that uh, <clears throat> that you spell things correctly too, you're missing a P in there. Um, see how this typography is stacked? Uh, typography doesn't look very good when you stack it that way. Um, out of these three logos, uh, I think these first two probably have the most, they're, I think they're the strongest. Uh, be careful boxing things up and crowding them in. You know, unless you want people to feel a little claustrophobic about your logo, then untrapping things would help. I mean, trapping things is, will, will help that. If you untrap them, take the box off or use a shape that is meaningful. You know, these are drums, so why not a round shape? I don't know. So there's that. <clears throat> Mountain water, these look logo-ish. Uh, the execution is a little bit, um, it still needs a little bit of work, like the ends of these M's and the, the hand-drawn little blue things. Um, this is probably my favorite. Uh, but make sure that this will work in black and white. You're using transparency. What happens to black when it becomes transparent? It becomes gray, and you're not allowed to use gray. So make sure that your logo works without any color at all. Uh, that will give you some challenges here, uh, figuring out how to, how to work that. This one is Alex's, and Alex, these are looking logo-ish as well, so more iconic. Um, make sure that your text isn't just an afterthought. Think of a way that you can make your text work with the rest of the with the rest of the graphic. I like how simple these are. Your your graphic parts are nice. Um, be sure you do some brainstorming. So you've done three different organizations. This was supposed to be one organization and, and three different ideas for that. Let's see, this is Jared's, uh, and it's the good line, capture life as it is. Um, you've got some good things going on. I like how uh, these the white space here kind of uh, opens things up and, and creates some shapes in, in the negative space. The text crowded up against the edges. Uh, I don't like that as much. You know, it, having these right on the edge, having this on the edge is fine because we don't see, you know, we don't see this edge. Same thing here. That's fine because we don't really see that edge and it feels like it's freed. Uh, but these words are too, they're too trapped. This is probably your strongest option, although I think it could still use some work to make it more iconic, more visually interesting. Um, these two feel like they're there's too much going on. Um, this is Jacqueline's. And 
um, you've used this shape, repeat, really these three are about the same idea. I'd like you to do some more brainstorming as well, Jacqueline. There's got to be other options, other ideas. This is a good idea, the D made out of the, the dancer's leg. That's pretty cool that you figured out how to do that. But are there other options? Are there other ideas? Where these lines get really thin, then um, they'll disappear at a distance or when your logo is made small. So make sure that the logo is scalable and that at a distance from 10 feet away, what does this, you know, can you still read it? Um, and is there anything you could do to, to help that to have more shape and more contrast? So same thing here, these are about the same idea, Spectre, Skate. Uh, you need to do some more brainstorming, Ben. Um, the, the idea is nice and clear, I like that a lot. Um, and these do feel like logos. Don't let your text be a total afterthought though. See if you can work it in somehow into the icon so they're all communicating in a, a gestalt kind of a way what your idea is. These feel very logo-ish. This is at, these are Ashley's. Nice job. Um, watch out for tangents. So where things get really close to each other, uh, like right here, the the H um, is really close, just barely skimming, touching. Same thing here, the E. <clears throat> um, but again, nice job. It, it does feel very home decor-ish and uh, and logo-ish. So. Good job. Jackson Archery. Nice. X's are fun to design with. I wonder if this is archery, why there's an arrow on both ends. Shouldn't the fletching be on one end? Um, this is an interesting idea, but I need to work on the, I guess, on the execution a little bit. Because you want, you want your logo to be simple, but you don't want it to be simplistic. So the shape of these arrows is important. If you're selling to archers, you know, are they going to buy the fact, are they going to buy it? That, that you know all about arrows and they look like this. Um, take a look at what some real arrows look like, Kelly, and see if that, that can help. Um, I think I like this one the best, although I think you've got some good ideas here. Um, make sure they work in black and white, that they're simple and clean. Again, don't forget what you know about logos. Uh, Emily, just like the photography one, I, I hate to break it to you, but I've seen a lot of cupcake logos. So what can you do to make a cupcake logo look like no other cupcake logo so you can communicate that your cupcake company is different than others? It's tricky. Uh, you do have some nice things going on in these logos. Uh, Watch out for tangents and watch out for readability. Watch out for really thin things, these thin black strokes. Okay, those are no-nos on logos. And um, this is Jerry's. I talked to you quite a bit, Jerry, in my office about yours, so I'm going to move on. Uh, triangles photography. Good, another photography shop. Tricky, but oh wait, that's just this one. So three different companies. And you've heard what I said about that. You really should brainstorm on just one idea. Um, watch out for tangents. There's tangents all over the place in here where things are too close. Same in here. There's tangents all over the place. And in here, tangents. So Haley, be careful with those. Tangents are places where elements come together, where they overlap or where they're really close and they create unwanted visual focus or problems with reading, with readability. So. If you back away from this, I, I'm guessing this word is going to be hard to read. This is Gunners. I talked to you quite a bit, Gunner, so I'm going to skip that one. Uh, vegan Vendors. This looks great. These look very logo-ish. Um, not that I wouldn't push them. I, I still think you could have some more contrast uh, and readability. This is tricky because it says VE, but it's VV, Vegan Vendors. Um, that's tricky, but your shape is very recognizable. I like that the top is, is organic and not ge geometric. You might consider making your tomato more geomet or more organic and less geometric. Um, 
And then proximity here is a problem because you've got so much space between the symbol and these letters that some people, they don't feel like they're unified and working all together. Uh, you're relying a lot on color, and I know the, the assignment requires you to do color, but be sure that your logos work black and white. These are a nice start, uh, Dallas Zoo. Uh, I, I love your elephant, how simple and clean it is. Uh, the drafts aren't quite as uh, successful. I don't think if you could simplify these shapes and and um, make them look more. I don't know what the word is. Um, more natural, I guess. Uh, the lion, nice job, uh, Michaela. You've done a really some nice work here with your your vectors. You know, pay attention to your typography too, and and make sure that it's working, and make sure that it works when things are black and white. Um, I think your the second and third one are probably your strongest options. Wow, this is quite a challenge, Tiger Flights. I love it, uh, Haley. Uh, and you've done a really nice job making these feel logo-ish. If, if there's any way you can simplify these and make sure that your typography um, works, you might experiment with some other sans serif fonts. This one looks like a, a font that you might get on defont.com that just isn't very well designed. Um, but yeah, your your logos are, are looking really good. Um, I especially like these top two. This one's kind of cool too, at least the image part, but the, the text feels like an afterthought. Make sure your text is working with the logo as much as possible for a, a whole gestalt, you know, so everything's communicating. Wow, this, these are Sydney's and they look like logos. Okay, especially this top one. I love this simple shape. Um, you might experiment with some different uh, typography, a different typeface, but yeah, that's great. This is a great shape. I've seen it before, so you might need to do something to make it more unique if you use this one. Um, but yeah, very well done. And that's my video for today. I better get to class.